Hello! So it's been about two weeks now that I've been out of the cubicle and on the farm. And so I just wanted to share a bit of an update and let all of you know how everything's been going. I have to say it's been really great. Um, after months of, you know, struggling with the decision of whether I wanted to leave my job and, and do farming and explore it, um, you know, it was a huge decision. I, I finally took the leap and I've done it. And my first two weeks here doing this have been wonderful. Um, I mean, so many things. Uh, I think, I think the first thing for me is that I, I'm starting to feel like a real human being again. You know, I, my job had had me so stressed out and I just, I felt like I'd become a shadow of the person who I really am. And I felt lost and just disconnected from life and everything and after two weeks of doing some hard physical work and just being out in the sun and always doing something and learning something constantly I I'm really happy for the first time in a long time another thing that I've absolutely just loved has been uh, experiencing the community here um, you know it's funny, I was just talking to a friend the other day who had recently gone through a breakup in her relationship and she was saying how, you know, I guess well now that she's single, she has to get used to being by herself and being single and so on. And you know what, I, I do think that it's important to be comfortable you know, being by yourself and enjoying time with yourself. But I think the whole idea of getting used to being alone, I don't know if, I don't know if that's reasonable anymore because for two weeks here I've been working with people constantly and working with people as in really working with people like we're working side by side we're picking berries together we're looking after the chickens together we're tossing hay bales to one another we're actually working with each other and interacting with each other whereas I remember when I was working in an office we would all be working on our individual pieces of whatever project we were on but we never actually worked together so working together is just I felt I felt really connected to everyone here and one of the other things has just been you know the, the sense of community here so we all work together during the day but we always all come in for lunch and definitely we all come in together for dinner uh, every night and I had forgotten how awesome it is every night to know that you're going to come home after a day's work at 6 o'clock sharp. You're all going to have dinner together with all of the people that you work with and live with on a day-to-day -day basis. This is something that's totally lost, I think, from most of our day-to-day -day lives. I think another thing I've loved about the specific place that I've been in um, has been having multiple generations of people. So the farm that I'm on, um, it, it's a community slash farm, and there are, uh, you know, older people, um, you know, uh, 60s and up, and there's people in their 40s and 50s, um, people around my age, so like late 20s, early 30s, early 20s people, and there's young children around, and a lot of these people actually live here full time and it's it, it's been wonderful getting to interact with all kinds of different generations of people and hearing different people's stories and perspectives on things um yeah i i for so long when i was working in in boston um you know i absolutely loved my client down there they're absolutely wonderful love the consulting company i worked for but I, I just remember that feeling of every night going out for dinner in a restaurant and being surrounded by people, but feeling so alone. And you know, six months of that, I had my limit. And I think I remember also feeling that same way living in the city, living in Toronto, which, and again, I love Toronto. It's such a friendly, open, vibrant city. But... I remember being in my apartment by myself every day, especially after the breakup, and feeling really alone, even though just outside my door there were tons of people. 
so it's 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 this this weird thing um, with our modern urban lives, I think, how we're constantly surrounded by people, but we're really disconnected from them. Um, and I think experiencing the the sense of community here, I really have an idea of how people lived, um, you know, 100, 150 years ago and, and earlier. Because living in a community like this with generation, different generations of people living together, this is how, you know, humanity kind of lived. It was, it's, I don't know, maybe a little bit tribal or what you want to call it, but this is how we all lived um, until very recently, until I think, you know, after the Industrial Revolution. So, so far, this has been amazing. And I, I think that my one big fear now is I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to my old life now. Um, it's been so satisfying to work physically, work with people, be part of a community. I, I, I just feel like my previous life of planes and trains and offices and cubicles, I and staring at a screen all day and sitting all day, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to it now. But I, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing to try new things. And you know what? I'm hoping that wherever my Mustang takes me, wherever I end up, that I'll start to piece together maybe a different way of living. Um, so. I, uh, I think that's my update for now. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed all of the other videos and blog entries I've posted so far. And uh, you know, as I discover new things and figure out what I'm gonna do and where I'm gonna go next, I, uh, I will definitely be sharing that with all of you. So uh, to anyone who's watching this, thank you for um, watching my videos and maybe even reading my blog. And uh, always feel free to contact me, either through my YouTube channel or through my blog at GayMustang.com. Thank you.